For years, the best treatment for clinical depression was taking antidepressant medications. But over the past couple of mornings, we've been showing you new treatments, some that are making a comeback. And Brightside's Jenny Dean is here with another treatment. It's nothing new, Jenny, but this is one of those treatments that is making a comeback. Yeah, it's electroconvulsive therapy or shock therapy. I right. know that can be scary for a lot of people to hear, but it is one of the most effective treatments for depression that doesn't improve with medication. It's a procedure that's been portrayed as somewhat barbaric. But there are new developments in how it's done and it's helping patients give this treatment serious consideration. This is video of Kitty Dukakis going through electroconvulsive therapy. It aired on CBS 60 Minutes last May. Kitty's husband is Democratic politician Michael Dukakis. You might remember when he ran for president in 1988. Kitty told 60 Minutes Anderson Cooper she had no problem with her procedure being broadcast since it is the only treatment that has helped her chronic depression. I'm convinced that, that if I can be that public, that it will help others. Dr. Ryan Wagner is a psychiatrist at USF Health. He says the procedure has changed over the years. So for example, now we use general anesthesia to place the person asleep. We use some um, medications in order to help prevent them from contracting their muscles and causing any sort of injury through that. Um, so it is a much, much more controlled process than perhaps was in the past. He says the best way to describe ECT, it's like hitting a reset button on a computer, but it's rebooting the brain. The responses that we've seen with it are quite good. So oftentimes when people haven't found relief with a medication or other type of therapy, ECT may be that nice next step in order to get things under better control. And then the person might be able to return to something like medications. But yeah, I've seen some very, very good responses to ECT. It's a very effective treatment. So the real message that we're trying to get across here with the stories we've been doing the past couple of days, there are effective treatments for depression besides antidepressant medications, and they can work quickly to help a person get their life back. And with the suicide rate continuing to rise across the country, we wanted people to know that there is help and it is working for other people who thought there was no hope. You can see more on this story as well as the ones from the past couple of days on ketamine and TMS by going to WTSP.com. And feel free to share those stories with friends. You never know when someone may be struggling to find answers.